Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and today uh, I want to talk about your cutting order or the sort order of your objects. Um, this is, occurs uh, as you create your objects, it creates a specific sort uh, pattern that when you send it to your cutter or your laser, it's going to cut in that um, specific order and this can make your cutting inefficient. Someone in uh, the Teach Me That group had asked about this, and I put them to a macro that is pretty cool. It's like 60 bucks. It'll help you sort it out in case your cutting software doesn't. Um, in this example here, I'm going to show you that Great Cuts has it built in. So if you have a GCC cutter, uh, the Great Cut has the sort or filled in. Uh, sorry, built in. So what I want to show you is I'm just going to draw some circles here. Let's imagine these are rhinestones. They're going to be a little bit bigger, but I'm going to kind of put them in different locations just so you can kind of see um, what I'm doing here. So as I create these, even though these ones might be close together and these are further apart, it's going to cut on how I create them. So I'm just duplicating circles right now. And then I'll move them all over the place. At the end, I'm just going to make a quick box. And you'll kind of see uh, what I mean. So let me take some of these here just to make this faster and duplicate some. And let's see, one more. Okay. So I have some circles here. What I want to show you is if you go to your Windows Docker Object Manager, you'll see all your objects here. If I click on this one, it's the first one I created. As I go up this, so this is the direction that your cutter will cut. It's going to cut that one first, then jump to that one, then jump to that one, then that one, and so forth. So by going through this line here, you can actually see how your cutter is going to jump all over the place, and it's very inefficient. So if you don't have any software that can sort it, there's like that macro I had mentioned in, the, in, that, in that thread. But um, what I want to show you is that Great Cut has this built into it. So I'm going to take all these objects and head over to Great Cut. So here I am in Great Cut. Um, if you go to Design, you'll see Sort with Simulation Control F10. So if I just hit Control F10, you'll see that I'm in this Sort with Simulation. This here is the speed on how fast it draws to show you the simulation. This right here, View Complete Path, will show you uh, a line. So for example, let me just do this one kind of slow right now. If I hit play, you'll see it draw it out. This one, this one, this one. And that's the path that your cutter is going to take. I'm going to pause it. If I say view complete path, it'll just draw a little line to show you how your cutter is going to zing over here and zing over here and jump over here. And that's what that is. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Let me go right here and speed this up, the drawing of it. And what I want to show you is that these show you directions. This means start my cutter. And I want it to go up this direction, then back down, and I want to cut along this path. So, and this tells you to start from over here and go this way, or th go this direction and start here and go this way. And if you want to cut in this direction from left to right, and then right to left, back and forth, you would choose this simulation here. So I'll show you that. So you guys saw how it was. Uh, let me start it over again. If I hit play, whoops, back up. Let me reset this, hit play. You can see that it jumps all over the place. Now, I'm going to say, I want this to start here and go up, then down. I'm going to sort it, and then I'll watch when I hit play again. So my cutter will go in this direction, and then start back up. And so anyways, it stays, it does the uh, object that's kind of next to it. So that way it doesn't jump all over the place, and it makes it more efficient and faster. Um, same thing, I can go to this direction and say I want to start um, this way. So I can hit sort, hit play. You'll see that this one goes to uh, from the left to the right until it completes the design. And if I click this arrow and sort it, you'll see that it goes starts from the top up here and goes down this way. So this is a pretty handy tool. Um, that comes with Great Cut. So if you're a GCC owner, it comes with it. I don't know if uh, GraphTech or Roland has it, but I, I remember the question from somebody. He had a Roland, and if you don't, if your software doesn't support this, you could uh, buy a macro that will help you 
um, fix that issue or, or you know sort it better.